Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day. Uh, everyone is sleeping at the moment, except for Maverick, who's running around doing whatever Maverick does. Cutting stones from blocks. Uh, hmm. Maybe what we should do... I don't like the fact that, she, that they're running up here to grab stuff like i think there are better things we can do so let's actually suspend these for now and we'll have them do other stuff there there are more important things than cutting those especially since we have 1600 granite at the moment um, i'm more interested in that yeah that's fine okay so i think what we should try to do today how are we doing on steel? We have, like, no steel. But if I remember correctly, yeah, we got people up here mining some. I mean, it wouldn't necessarily be bad. Oh, we got a machining table here, but this thing actually needs power. Uh, and in order to do that, I'm going to need conduits. And these are... One steel per conduit. So... Let's kind of do something like this. We'll run that through the wall. Because we do need this thing to have power if we're going to, you know, make it work. But we also have no steel. <laughs> we're, we're still mining out steel from up here, uh, which is also not exactly ideal because it's so far away. But what do you do? Uh, also, it's already night. Wow, that was a fast day. Seems like it was just night, like, two seconds ago. Okay. Fair enough. Fine. Still trying to recruit life. It would be nice to have him. <laughs> but. Oh, well. Who's he? Pirate of Rifle Rig. Yeah, so not, uh. Not one of the factions that we've built up any relations with whatsoever. Hmm. I think it really just comes down to the steel at the moment. That's kind of what's limiting us. So maybe we already have three people who are prioritizing mining. I suppose we could bump up one more. Maybe we say Maverick. I want you to mine for now. Maverick's actually decent at mining as well, so that could be good for us. Our power supply is great. Yeah, and it looks like we actually do have the steel here now to build these conduits. So, good. We'll get those built. And now this thing has uh, stuff. So we'll go disassemble mechanoid. You forever. I don't have mechanoids very often, so we'll we'll do that, and we'll be able to disassemble this guy down here that's been just sitting here for like ever. And we'll get some components and some steel and stuff like that. So that'll be good. Um, we should also really consider making a electric smelter, so we can do slag chunks and stuff like that and turn those into steel i think that would probably be a good idea uh the question is where do we put it because we don't want to put it down here this is our research station and we're gonna have a uh a, a thingy down here so maybe i suppose we could put it like up here we could put it like right there i mean we need 170 steel to build it but that might be the way to go. In fact, that's probably what we will do. Because then we got all those sli these steel slag chunks and stuff. We can turn those into steel and actually uh, get some steel that way. So that's probably the smart thing to do. Um, speaking of which, there's probably some steel slag chunks just kind of like strewn about the map. 
right? So, like, we can grab some of these and say haul them. Um, I don't really see any more. Yeah, there's not too many of them. But, that's okay. We'll get more steel when we finish mining this, and then we'll be able to do that. Um, I don't think you... Can you melt down, uh, weapons with that? Oh, we got a raid coming in. And they are attacking immediately. Looks like we've got bows. Just bows. Bows across the board. Okay. And it's the amalgamation of Busto. And they're actually... We have relatively okay relations with them. So, let's see. Shawara, I believe, is our... Yeah. this is the, She's the one that can't fight. So, everyone else... You're all drafted, as much as I hate to do this to you. I know it's the middle of the night. I'm sorry. I hate to wake you up, but it's necessary. And... I think we'll hole up in the bunker? Uh, actually, Shawara, you're drafted as well. Get into the bunker. Because otherwise they're going to go for her. So, let's do... Let's see. We'll put foot here. Pablo here. Callian. Actually, let's put Callian here. Lindsay here. Um Maverick. Shen. And Shawara, you're just going to kind of chill in here. But they're all coming from over that way. Uh, actually, we got one or two coming down here. Let's put Shen, like, here for now. Yeah, they're going to regret that. No. Shen? Oh. Uh... Fired and go. That's one hit. Come on. I don't like the fact... Oh, uh, there we go. Alright, they're fleeing. So everyone... is undrafted. You are dead. And you are also dead. So strip. Unforbid. Okay, there we go. They're gonna run away. That's fine. We'll let them flee. Maybe we'll get lucky and Kamisa will collapse so we can capture them and then send them back for basically extra relations. But... We'll deal with the dead bodies and all that kind of stuff in the morning. It's all good. So we survived the raid. I hate to have woken everybody up for that, but it was necessary. Got to keep the colony in one piece, of course. Keep everyone safe. Keep everyone alive. Pretty important. But as far as raids go, like that was a pretty easy raid. A couple guys with bows. I think we, uh, I think it turned out just fine. All things considered. Oh, disease, muscle paralyzed. Okay. So, let's look at that. So, Callian, Foot, and Maverick. So, Callian? Oh. Foot. And Maverick. Get all of them in here. Let's make sure that that's not all of our doctors. And it's not. So, we're good. Unfortunately... We are very low on heal route. 
Shen feeling terrible. Okay, well, not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Uh, let's issue a blanket harvest order. I don't know that there's actually going to be a whole lot here that we can harvest. There might be a little bit, but we've, we've pretty much cleared out a lot of the heal root on the map. So we're going to have to kind of hope that we get this to work. Um, let's see here. Muscle parasites. Hopefully this just goes away on its own after some time. It's annoying, but there's not much I can do about it, unfortunately. But we do now have mad animal. A local squirrel. Hunt. And of course, Shawara. Uh, tell you what, foot. You're drafted. Shoot the squirrel. Did we get it? We got it. Okay. Shawara, what are you doing right now? You're just fleeing? Haul the squirrel. Haul the squirrel. And then once that's done, we'll send Shawara to a, a medical bed. Unfortunately, Shawara is my doctor. So that's going to be a thing. But she should be fine. Uh, let's look at her health. Yeah, bleeding a little bit, but not badly. Um, Maverick. Tend to Shawara. Since it's nighttime and you're actually supposed to be awake. We'll get that all patched up. There we go. And we're going to be okay. And we do have enough... ...steel now to make the electric smelter, which we'll put right here. And they'll put a dining chair... ...right there. So we'll want to do that. That'll allow us to get steel in other ways. And I believe you can use that. Uh, actually, the machining table is used for disassembling guns. So let's add a bill. This is all making weapons, though. I want to disassemble weapons. Maybe that gets done here with the electric smelter. I thought there was a way to... I mean, it also may not be possible. Also, frame rate, please. Why Why you do this to me, frame rate? It'll clear up in a sec. That's all right. It's a little choppy, though. I don't know why. It, it seems like... It seems like this map... Like, this biome or whatever is worse... Uh, when it comes to that than, than previous ones I've played on. I don't know if the trees have something to do with it. Maybe. I mean... Well, yeah, I guess the trees are animated a little bit. They do move. So that's probably what it is. Uh, can we finish making this thing, please? Thank you, Shen. Okay, so we got this thing. So let's add a bill... Smelt metal from slag, do forever. Uh, smelt weapon. Break down weapons into useful resources. And then there's destroy weapon. Yields no resource. All right, so we definitely want the resources. So smelt weapon, details. And we want to say any weapon that has less than 50% hit points... And that should do it. And then we'll say do forever. So basically, if it has less than 50% hit points, we'll smelt it down. And let's put that a higher priority than smelting metal from slag. So that should be good. Uh, and then we'll go back to Maverick, and let's take Maverick off of mining. Because then we'll do crafting. 
which would be good because hopefully that means Maverick will do this stuff. Tattered Apparel. Okay, so let's look at these characters. All right, what do you have that's tattered? Pants? What about Pablo? Pants. Okay, so we got to make some pants. Let's go here. Oh. Let's make a couple sets of pants. Shen, what is your thing that you're doing over crafting? Mining. I kind of want to cancel. I wish I could cancel this, this one right here but Shen needs to get that done so we're gonna make him a one on crafting real oh actually no no no. he needs to be a one on tailoring quick just so he can finish this or actually you know what we'll leave him a four and we'll uh, he should finish this up hopefully And basically make room for other people to do their thing. Colin sees treatment. Foot. Is it the, the muscle parasites? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Maverick is deconstructing this machine pistol. That's good. And that actually got us a little bit of steel. So this is good. This means that uh, these weapons that are junk because they're so deteriorated and destroyed, we can turn those into steel, which is what a thing that I obviously need. So that's good. And it will clear out the extra junk weapons from our storage space as well. So that is definitely helpful. What else do we have going on here? Low medicine? Yeah, I know, I know. I don't have anyone who can grow more heal root until we manage to somehow recruit life, which we have thus far been unsuccessful in doing. We'll get there eventually, but at the moment... Ooh, I'm actually very low on meals. Well, somewhat low on meals. Shen has, yeah, Shen's got dementia, so he's going to have those mental breaks occasionally. It's pretty much unavoidable. Um... Hmm. Who's my cook right now? Foot? Foot is my cook. Okay. Should maybe do some hunting here pretty soon? What do we got? It's worth hunting. Squirrels, rats, maybe some boars? Got a couple of them here. Let's just say hunt those. Got a couple of those going. Mavericks breaking down weapons as well, which is good. That means more steel for us. Yeah, we got to get some of this food cooked up for sure. My food supplies are a bit lower than I would like. We'll make simple meals. We'll be okay. It looks like foot's going to be cooking for a little while, so that's good. Um, and Shen, yeah, Shen's hunting, so that's fine. We may want to add a second stove, like a, a second, well, I don't think it would really do any good, though. I mean, maybe it would, but are we making food faster than we're producing it is the question. And the answer is I'm not entirely sure. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. We finished researching the hospital bed, though, so that's good. Uh, let's research... Hmm. Let's research... Honestly, the moisture pump wouldn't be bad. Yeah, let's research that. That could come in handy. 
just with the environment that we're in, could be good to have the, at least the ability to clear out some of this moisture just in case. Like, the thing, ta it takes forever, but might be worth it just to have that ability to kind of clear out some of this marshland and stuff like that if if needed. Like, it, it, it's super slow, but if we have, like, a particularly annoying little bit, it wouldn't be bad to at least have the option. We'll want to build a multi-analyzer, or not a multi-analyzer, a, um... Oh yeah, a multi-analyzer. We'll want to build one of these too, but we need the gold and the plasteel, and we don't have that at the moment. Nor any way to really get it. I mean, there is also all of this steel slag chunk up here. We should probably haul that down so we can convert it into steel. <clears throat> There's a fair amount of it down here as well. That's just basically free steel for us. So we should probably get on that, bring it on up to the base, turn it into steel. Hmm. A little bit more hiding over there, grab some of that. I think that's gonna be basically it for the steel slag chunks. That are strewn about the map at the moment. We could deconstruct this, but I don't think there's really any need to. Man, our food supplies are dwindling, though. Like, we need... Yeah, we need more food in a big way. Which is unfortunate. Um, I suppose we could put Maverick on cooking. That might not be a bad idea, actually. Because then Maverick will be cooking at night. So that's not a terror. Yeah. I like this plan. We'll put Maverick on cooking. So at night, we'll be doing a little bit more stuff. We can hunt a couple of these rabbits because they'll go down easy. Uh, What else do we have? A couple more boars all the way up there. What's close? A couple of turtles. They use, that's easy pickings as well. A couple more boars. We'll hunt those as well. Try to get the stuff that's close by. But we'll get Maverick and Foot on cooking. And hopefully that'll uh, allow us to build our food supplies back up. Because they're going down faster than they're going up. And that concerns me. We've only got a couple of actual days of food left. With this many colonists. And them eating twice a day. That means we're going through basically 14 meals a day. Plus they eat like right when they first wake up. So maybe 21 meals a day. Colonists needs treatment. Callian. Oh, it's that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your your muscle parasites. Whoa. Oh, fire in the cooler. That's no good. Alright. Get over here. Put out the fire. We put it out quickly, which is good. Unfortunately, we gotta get that back up and running like immediately. Okay, hold on. Like, uh, no. Who's... Lindsay. Um, we'll let you eat. Pablo? Before you rest, build these power conduits back. No. No, no, no. Come, build the power conduits, and then you can go to bed. Build the power conduit. There we go. Now you can go back to bed. Now that we're lowering the temperature. Okay. Oh, incapacitated refugee. This is a new uh, a new event that we haven't seen before in any of the series. 
contacts you on the radio. He's wounded and unable to move without your help. He will die within 10 days. So, yeah, okay. So that's all the way over here. Um... Sorry. Tough luck. <laughs> Hate to say it. But, uh, I'm gonna say no. And unfortunately, our batteries are completely depleted because of that explosion. At least we got the fire put out. I don't think we actually lost anything of value. Like, it could have been a lot worse. Um, I do need to put a new standing lamp in here, though. We'll just put one right there. That's going to have to get done. And I think some of this uh, stuff is probably going to have to wait. Well, no, we're getting power. I guess the geothermal generator it does generate like just enough power to keep everything going by itself. Not really refilling the batteries, but now they're now they're you know getting up there energy-wise, so it's all good. Bandit camp. That's a lot of silver. But I, I'm going to pass. I've got better things to do. Like focus on my own colony. Foot and Maverick are both cooking now. So hopefully that means we'll actually be able to get our... Um, our food supplies built up properly. That's what I'm hoping at least. We've got about 200 steel now. I think it might be beneficial to put a turret, like, over here. But, at the same time, this is all... Well, this is rich soil. We could clear this. So, here's what we could do. Chop down this stuff. Get that stuff out of the way, right? We could build another little bunker kind of over here. There's going to be a lot of cover, right? Like, all these... All this stuff is going to be annoying but we could build another little bunker here and then we'll basically be defended from pretty much all sides like they could still attack from over here but we got some cover here from buildings and stuff I don't know I mean pros and cons right cargo pods what you got for me jade sure we'll take it could be good and uh, we'll take the steel slag as well Nothing else we can trade the jade away for some money and things. I think that could have some value for us. Got people sleeping. Maverick is just waking up. Probably going to go eat. And then cook, I guess. I guess that's what Maverick's going to do. Let's uh, change the bill on this stove. To 100 simple meals. Cook simple meals first. That's what I am really concerned with. Attempting to recruit life. Failing. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> how it always goes and then Maverick's gonna be cooking while everybody else is asleep but now going to eat hmm. we're chopping down all this everything's good yeah this is fine this is fine I think this is a good place to end off today's episode I'm gonna call this one right here guys if you enjoyed the video you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.